Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my general reading I'm doing for an old school friend of mine. So in part one of the reading, we actually picked up some very interesting stuff. We have seen that there is some kind of a soulmate connection coming in. And I don't feel like it is with your current partner. I feel like things are complicated, as you have told me. And I feel like you might have a secret admirer with that page of swords because it's someone who's looking at you from a distance and it's someone who's not ready to approach you yet because it's in the reverse. So I don't know if the page of swords is the soulmate or if it's two completely different people, but let's have a look. It's weird because I can resonate with this reading. I'm a Libra moon and the person I'm reading for is Libra sun. So I feel like I have someone stalking me too for some reason, but never mind. Maybe it's best if they don't approach me because I'm not interested. So to clarify the two of cups, we have here the nine of wands reversed. This is speaking about someone who's feeling very guarded, someone who's guarding their heart, someone who's afraid of getting hurt. It comes with the Two of Cups. So, I don't know if this is telling me that your current partnership that started out like that turned into this. It was kind of like not what you hoped it would be. And it's left you feeling very guarded. And you're thinking of how it would be to enter into a new relationship, to start all over again. Because you're afraid of getting hurt. Obviously, you have had a bad experience. I'm not seeing terrible, terrible, because I'm not seeing the devil card here. I'm not seeing the tower. I'm not seeing the devil. I'm not seeing ten of swords. Not yet, at least. Okay, clarify, please. Knight of cups. The wheel of fortune. Okay, so divine timing, fate is at play here. You definitely have received or will receive a love message because the Knight of Cups brings a love message. So the suit of cups is connected to water, the water element and love and emotion. So when you get the Knight of Cups, someone is coming in with a love message or an offer of love. Okay. With the Eight of Swords reversed, you have the Hierophant which is the card of Taurus, but it also speaks about tradition and values and morals and standards. I feel like that's where the conflict comes in, the inner conflict. It's kind of like, how do I deal with this new energy? How do I deal with this new offer or proposal or message? What will people think about me? Maybe it's something to do with tradition, as in um, you have a certain tradition to uphold, or kind of like, what will my family think if I do this? Or um, is it the right thing to do, kind of thing. It's inner conflict. Or maybe it's telling me you're looking for a more traditional approach. It's not in reverse. So if it was in reverse, I would say that you are dealing with a person who's not your usual type, but it's not in reverse. All right, with the nine of cups reversed, I just said it too soon. There's the tower. I literally just said the tower is not here, but there is the tower. Okay, never mind. We haven't seen the devil yet. If the devil comes, then I know. Okay, so with the tower, it talks about... I know it's in reverse, I'm just turning it upright to show you guys. The tower talks about a catastrophic moment where your whole world comes shattering down. Um, everything comes crashing down, it's unexpected, it's sudden. It's like a huge change in your life, but it's in reverse. And it comes with the Nine of Cups in reverse. So it's telling me that you're not completely satisfied in your current situation, but then you're thinking 
if I pursue this new person, perhaps, will it lead to a catastrophe? Because you're trying to avoid some catastrophe with the tower being in reverse. You're trying to avoid huge conflict, huge arguments, a huge breakdown. I know what Libra people are like. They normally like things to be in balance. And I'm usually, like I said, I'm a Libra moon. I'm usually like a peacemaker. People and kids in school used to always ask me in high school to be the mediator and sort out arguments between person A and person B or between this girl and that girl. And even to this day, I feel like people really trust my advice. So that's something about a Libra person. They like things to be in balance. They don't like chaos, I think. So you're trying to avoid some chaos. Then with the lovers in reverse comes the Ace of Swords in reverse. So if we take both cards and turn them upright, then what it's saying is there's a love connection coming in and it leads to a new beginning. And I think that it that is what it means. Just because it's in reverse doesn't mean it's the opposite. It's simply saying that perhaps it is not something you're seeing yet. It's in your immediate energy, but I'm feeling like it's a possibility. You haven't decided yet. You're still undecided about this new beginning. Because aces are all about new beginnings. And the suit of swords is all about communication and thought and intellect and dreams. It's like there's a new idea, new communication, a new path of communication. And also that Eight of Wands, which is next, speaks about fast communication. So some person is coming into your life and opening up the path of communication, if that makes sense, or opening up new channels of communication. Wow, and with that Eight of Wands, we have the Two of Wands reversed. Sorry, I'm squinting. The sunlight is falling directly on these cards and I can't really see what's on them. Um, the Two of Wands is about someone who's at a distance from you. Now that is confirmed by the Page of Swords, all right? Someone is perhaps watching you from a distance. I feel like when the Two of Wands comes up, it's speaking about also perhaps online, an online relationship, online communication, someone who's maybe in a different country, online dating sites, social media, because this person is looking at the globe. He has the globe in his hands and he's thinking of someone at a distance from him. With that card being in reverse, it's the similar it's a similar meaning to the upright. It's not really different. It's just saying that perhaps you're not even aware of this person. You're either not aware of their presence or you haven't seen them as this person before. You know, like you see certain people as a friend and then suddenly it changes one day and you're like, wow, why did I never see you in this way before? I never thought we would be more than friends and now we actually are. It's that type of energy coming in. Oh, I give up. I said there's no devil, there's no tower and there's no ten of swords. So we've had the tower and now we have the ten of swords. Okay, this is someone who backstabbed you, someone who left you feeling defeated. Or it is you being afraid of this. You're afraid of someone completely hurting you to the point where you don't want to enter into a new relationship anymore. Because you're scared of this. You're guarding your heart with that nine of wands reversed. Okay, so with this being in the past, past, in the future energy, I feel like it's not saying you will get stabbed in the back in the near future. It's saying that this energy is carried through and it's in your present and it's still in the near future. So by the time you see this reading, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's this vulnerability in you that has made you feel very bruised and very guarded. But then you have that soulmate connection coming in 
and this person will make you feel different. They'll make you feel like all that, all that pain, all that heartache was maybe worth it because it's led you to them. Right, Seven of Swords reversed. <sighs> I mean, Seven of Wands reversed. There you have the Nine of Swords. All right, so this is anxiety, sleepless nights, inner conflict, worrying, insomnia, things like that. It's not a very positive card at all, but it comes with that Seven of Swords, which means that if you stop resisting things, then you'll move away from that energy. If you actually make peace with how you're feeling, you can move on. You have to accept that it's this inner conflict, this resistance that is causing you to have sleepless nights and worries and, you know, thoughts just racing through your head. It's like you're not accepting something as it is. It's like you're in denial. I don't know if you're in denial about your current relationship. If something is telling you to still hold on, despite the fact that you feel like you should move on, because there could be a passionate new beginning. There could be a message coming in that is very passionate. Like I said, the pages are messengers and ones are all about the element of fire. They speak about passion and action and doing. And it's exactly what I was just talking about. You're moving away from the energy of indecision and actually trying to make a decisive action. That sounds a bit strange it's like i'm saying two things that are exactly the same um it's like you're moving away from a period of rest to a better emotional space okay verbosity that's the word when i said you're moving you you're making a decisive choice or something a decisive decision <laughs> okay, so at the bottom of the deck you have the High Priestess reversed. It is just a message to trust your intuition and go with your gut. So if you feel like this relationship is not worth fighting for anymore, then you'll know what to do. Underneath it is the Seven of Cups, which shows me that you do have some choices. Perhaps you're feeling a bit overwhelmed because you don't know where to start. And that is perhaps why you approached me to do this reading for you. So that was part two of the reading. We're now going to do part three where I will be getting some advice for you. Thank you to everyone for watching. Stay tuned for part three.